the Pentagon, Washington, D.C. Heart and Nerve Center of our national defense. Swamped by the gigantic task of classifying, assigning, and recalling thousands of soldiers, Manus turns the machine. Take the process of recalling reserve officers. Department of the Army classification cards for several hundred military personnel may be placed in the classification machine. And in the space of a few seconds, the person best suited for a specific assignment will be selected. Once the officer is selected, recall procedure is swift and unerring. Oh, uh, Tommy, you got anything in there for me? Yeah, here's a telegram, Mr. Sterling. Telegram? I hope there's nothing wrong with Aunt Ethel. She's not feeling very well. Yeah? Oh, good. It's not from Aunt Ethel. It's from Washington. D.C. Gee, who do you know in Washington? Oh, connections, connection. <laughs> well... I, I won't go! I won't go! Bad news, Mr. Sterling? I, I, I'm a retread. You're a what? A retread. They're, they're, they're in the army. They're calling me back in the army. Gee, are things that bad? Yeah. I, but I, they, they can't do this to me. They can't do this to me. If they want me, they're going to have to come and get me. That's all. They're going to have to come and get me. I, I, no, I won't go. You wait and see. You, they, they won't I, take me. Huh. You wait and see. I won't go. of it made me quite nervous. In reply to the greetings, I hasten to say, may I choose my own branch of the service. No Coast Guard, no Navy, no Air Force for me, no bullets, torpedoes, or ACAC. The branch of the service in which I would be, I want to enlist in the wax. Hey, Francis! Francis! It, it's me! Hi, Francis! Hey, Francis! Hey, Francis, it's me! It's me, Petey! Hey, wait, wait a minute. Don't, don't go away. Wait, wait. Francis! I'll be darned. I could have sworn you were Francis. Why, well, you're not even a mule. You always talk to horses. Huh? Oh, no, sir, just the mules. My bags! My bags! Hey, wait! Wait! Stop with this stuff! And... Oh! I, I, I oh. beg your pardon, sir. I really... I, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I, I, had, I had no idea that you... That, no, really, really, oh. sir. I, I, I... Well, you're not a sir. You're a lady. Fortunately for you... I, I, I mean, you're a whack. Well, 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 anyway, I, I beg your pardon, madam. Uh, young lady, uh, uh, captain. All right, lieutenant, you got your laugh. Uh, but no, really, I, I'm... It's the prettiest soldier I've ever seen. Oh. My bag. Wait. <laughs> And your aim is getting better. Oh, thank you. I mean, no, no, no. Well, what I mean is, well, you see, the door was closed, and I had to get my bag off somehow. On my head. Well, I didn't know it was your head. Besides, I... Hey, wait a minute. Hey, stop the train, will you? Wait a second. I'm very sorry, madam. Are you all right, Captain? Oh, fine, just fine. No, really, just an accident, really. I'm terribly sorry, madam. I mean, you... I mean, Captain, I'm really... I'm very sorry, I... Now, really, I guess... Now, at, at ease, Sergeant, at ease. Okay, Lieutenant, okay. I saw the whole thing. Well, then you know it was an accident. Sure, but you gotta leave the girl some pride, Lieutenant, some pride. Well, Corporal McDonald will take care of your transportation, Lieutenant. Well, thank you. Oh, my, my luggage, though, I get... Oh, uh, we'll get it. The whack captain hasn't chewed it up. 
You're the prettiest soldier I've ever seen. <laughs> Just a minute, ma'am. Uh, I was told I could get transportation to... Uh... Now, please, don't crowd in. The ladies first. What happened to her? Where'd that whack go? What whack? Look, I'm Lieutenant Peter Sterling. Do you mind? Here yes, you are, Lieutenant. All in one piece. He, uh, wants transportation. Well, give it to him. Lieutenant, give these to the Jeep driver behind the station. He'll take you to your outfit. Thank you. I thought I'd seen everything. Papers seem to be in order. Washington sent them. George or Martha? <laughs> transferred in. Off limits. Must be a highly secret assignment. Sure must be. All right, sir. This is it, Lieutenant. Thank you very much. I wonder what kind of work it is. It shouldn't be hard to take. Hmm. That's quite a large female personnel. Small ones, too. All sizes. <laughs> uh, this organization, is it, uh, is it, uh, uh, no, couldn't be. Something bothering you, Lieutenant? Huh? Well, it looks like a whack area. It should. It is. Oh, is that so? The wax? Being the wax? Now, what's, what's going on here? Now, you, you, you wait here. I've got to, right, what's... Good afternoon, Lieutenant. Sightseeing? I would like some information. My name is Lieutenant Sterling. What? Oh, for a minute there, you had me. We were expecting someone by that name. A camouflage expert. Well, my name is Sterling, but uh, I don't know anything about camouflage. Of course it's not you. You're Lieutenant Peter Sterling. Yes, that's right. We were expecting a bunny Sterling. Who is the camouflage expert? Oh, I see. May I talk to your commanding officer, please? Lieutenant Sterling has arrived. Oh, wonderful. I'll be with her in a minute. Her? I told you we were expecting Lieutenant Sterling. Yeah, well, not me, you weren't. Welcome to the WAC. <gasps> if you could step by, I'd love Anything wrong? Well, there seems to be a mistake, Major. Mistake? What do you mean? Did the new officer report in? That's her. Him. He? He's not a she. Oh, good afternoon, Major. Would you mind stepping into my office, Lieutenant? What's going on, Captain? I was about to ask that same question. He's your retread, Major Simpson. He? Lieutenant Sterling. Peter Sterling. Now I understand why our retread wasn't on that train. A terrible mistake has been made. They sent us a, a man? Good heavens, I certainly stipulated I wanted a whack officer. I guess the words overseas experience confused them. Make out a request for transfer and get him out of this area. Check post headquarters. They can put him up until we get rid of him. Yes, Major. Well, Lieutenant, 
How does it feel to be a whack? Now, just a minute. This, this is a mistake, isn't it? I'm afraid you don't quite fit our physical standard. Oh, naturally not. A <laughs> man in the wax. <laughs> just what do you mean by that? I just meant it's funny, that's all. <laughs> the wax. If there's anything funny about it, it's some of you men who make it so. Despite your amusement, we prefer to think of women in uniform as a serious business. Yeah, but I didn't mean... Your masculine ego refuses to admit that, that the Women's Army Corps can serve any place but in kitchens or for clerical work. Isn't that so? I didn't say that. That's what you meant. Lieutenant Sterling. For the moment you've been assigned to us, thinking it over, it, it might be very nice to have a man around the company. Yeah, well, well, well thanks, Yes, but I... yes, to help us helpless women. As a hardened combat vet, you'll no doubt put us poor women to shame, but uh, we'll try to keep up with you. Now, 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 really, sir, I, I mean, uh, madam, I mean, I'm captain. I, I, think, I think the wax are wonderful. They're just wonderful in their place. In our place? Yes, in your place, I think you're just... Yes, Corporal Hillstrom. Post billets are all filled, ma'am. Well, guess Bungalow 6 is unoccupied. You can put him in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what does she mean, uh-oh? Is anything wrong? No, ma'am. Not yet. But it's a start. Uh, well, what, what, what did she mean? Need I explain? Uh, yeah. Well, Lieutenant, in the course of your duties with us, you will be in contact with the women of this battalion. You will avoid any incident. Uh, incident? Oh, good heavens, Lieutenant. You had combat in Burma. Weren't there any Burmese girls there? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, they used to sell us things. I can imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to take some of them home with me. You did? Oh, yes. The cutest little wood carvings. You know, those little, little, little monkeys. You may go now, Lieutenant. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, uh, where? You will be assigned the duties of a whack officer. You mean I'm a whack? Until you had a change of assignment, yes. Oh, yeah, but now, but now, but now. Yes, I miss. I said. Well, I said. A whack. <laughs> Fancy earmuffs. That's a logical question. Who said that? Your old furry cousin. One thousand pounds of lovable mule on the hoof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Francis! Francis, it couldn't be! Says you. Oh, well, then, then it was you on the train. Yeah. Boy, am I glad to see you. Lieutenant, <laughs> please. What kind of an indoctrination are they giving you? Oh, I'm in terrible trouble. Well, that figures. Me, Peter Sterling, in the wax. I'm in and they won't let me out. I don't, I don't want to be a whack. Oh, I, I... simmer down, PD boy. That's why I'm here. I heard the classification machine at Pentagon went snafu and tapped you for duty with the ladies of the Army Corps. Well, oh, so that's how it happened. And it only could happen to you. Yeah, yeah well, well you, you did come to get me out. What a fate. Wet nurse to an upper class shave tail. For this, I had to get myself transferred to the medical research lab on this post. I'm checking in in the morning. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful? Yeah. They needed a guinea pig to try their injections on. So, shake hands with a guinea pig. Me. Oh, I'm sorry, Francis. Yeah, but you are going to help me out, aren't you? Well, I won't be able to sit for a while, and I hate to stand around doing nothing. Oh, thanks, Francis. Thanks a million. <laughs> oh, Pete, cut that out. What's that? Shh. Sounds like retreat to me. Well, you...
No, uh, excuse me, is there, uh, is there something wrong? We heard voices. You're supposed to be alone. Oh, well, there was no one here but me. That's what we were told. Oh, uh, uh, believe me, there's no one in it. What about this? Uh, there's no one in that either. Now, if, if, if I need you, I'll call you. I will, I'll call you. Francis. Francis. That's Bungalow 6, Lieutenant. Thanks, Sergeant. But are you sure the OD didn't say quarter six? She said six something. I'll worry about it tomorrow when I'm not so sleepy. Good night. Sorry if I disturbed you. I thought you were. Please, no, no, don't go. Please, please. I'm doing it. I'm really, I'm very sorry. I'm... Oh, no. I... oh. Alone, huh? Now, I know what you're thinking, but it's not so, honestly. You'd better come with us. Get dressed. Now, now, I know what you're thinking, but it's not so, honestly. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it's not you so, honestly. Right outside. I'll get your report later. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it's Lieutenant, not so... I want the truth. Now, really, it was, it was nothing. <laughs> nothing? Yes. Two incidents in one night. Your first night here. Oh, now, believe me, I was... Uh, uh, two incidents? What was, uh, what was the first one? Then you admit there was a second. Yeah, well, no, ma'am. I just thought the second one was the first one. Well, we won't discuss the order of your romances. You were distinctly heard speaking to someone before Lieutenant Dixon arrived. Who was the other girl? Uh, it wasn't any girl. It had to be a girl. There are hundreds of them stationed in this area, nothing but girls. No, not one girl was in my bungalow, not, not one. What about Lieutenant Dixon? Yeah, well, I was there before she was. That didn't give you the privilege of making advances to her. Well, why, I, I didn't. Why, I, I didn't. Don't tell me she screamed because you didn't make advances. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm no ma'am. I mean, I, I, I don't know what I mean. If your motives were so pure, why didn't you immediately contact the O.D. and notify her of the mistake? Well, I couldn't. The lieutenant was getting undressed. You... you saw her undressing? No, ma'am. I shut my eyes. Then how do you know she was getting undressed? Yeah, well, 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 I don't know. I, I just, just thought she might be, that's all. I, well, you get, get in bed, you, you, gotta, you gotta take your clothes off to get into bed, don't you? I, oh, I'm all confused. I shouldn't wonder. Lieutenant Sterling, your records arrived here this afternoon. They were very interesting. Need any help, Toots? What did you say? Mm, I, I didn't say anything. If you get stuck, you can spend the night with me in the stable. Lieutenant, you must fancy yourself a veritable Don Juan. No, no, not me. 
I know your type, Lieutenant. You get into trouble and try to talk yourself into a psycho ward. You've been in trouble before. 27 times in neuropsychiatric retention. That's really gold-bricking. Well, I tried to tell them. I can see right here what you tried to tell them, that a mule talked to you. They didn't believe me. And neither would I, so don't pull any of that mule hanky-panky around here. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. For lack of clear-cut evidence, I will not press charges against you. But let me make one thing quite plain. Until you are transferred out, you're a whack officer. You will think as we do and do as we do. Everything? Everything. Extend to the left, march. Uh, good morning, Captain. I'm supposed to report to Company C. The second platoon leader is ill. You may fall in there. <laughs> Fall in. <laughs> You're at attention. <laughs> Lieutenant Burke, take over, please. Yes, ma'am. Prepare to exercise. Move. Don Juanish in the morning. Oh. This certainly isn't going to help the morale of your second platoon, Jane. Oh, that wouldn't matter, Louise. Maybe it would be better to drop the second platoon out of the camouflage operation entirely, rather than risk their making a bad showing. We can't go in with just two platoons. General K and all of G3 know we've been training a full company in camouflage. How would it look if we admitted failure? Our cause would be lost before we started. Three and four and... Five, and six, and seven, Go. and eight, and... What's the matter, Lieutenant? Out of condition? And yeah, and no, no back two, injury. And Looks as if a new one has been added. And four. Well, you see, and when I took my basic training, we didn't have to be acrobats. Oh, I see. Uh, you men went in for the rugged things, no doubt. Oh, yes, obstacle course and that sort of thing, you know, scale that wall, jump that hurdle, and, and climb that landing net. You mean confidence course, Lieutenant. We wax don't use it. Yeah, well, it is pretty strenuous. It wasn't meant for women. 
I'm sure the women would appreciate it if you'd show them how it's done sometime. Fine. Maybe I could even get a few volunteers to help you. Wonderful. I, me? Yes, you, Lieutenant. Fall in. Haven't you reported in yet? Yeah, but now I gotta figure a way to get out. Yeah, me too. They've been cutting me to pieces all morning. Oh? What are you looking at, Pete? Francis. Huh? Yours? Flatterer. <laughs> Come here, cousin. Come here. But you know what Major Simpson's pet project is, huh? No. Camouflage. Camouflage, that's a man's job. Oh, since when? Every beauty parlor is a camouflage installation. Yeah. Well, I never thought of that. Neither did General K. General K? Uh-huh. Well, you mean old Ben K here of the Burma Road? Yep. Well, what's he got to do with all of this? Everything. He's in G3 at the Pentagon. And he's trying to booby trap the wax whole camouflage training plan. Yeah? That's why he suddenly whipped up this year demonstration. What demonstration? A camouflage operation in the field in two weeks. Major Simpson's wax against a company of combat veterans. And our Burma hero is bringing along reporters and congressmen to laugh the girls right out of their camouflage suits. Yeah, yeah. Now, what are they all going to think when they see a man in the wax? Francis, I just got to get out of this. Oh, easy, boy. They snuck up on me with a square needle. I'm sorry, Francis, I forgot. They didn't waste any time, and I suggest you don't either. Hey, there's a shortcut to the finish line over yonder. Oh, yeah. Now, that wouldn't be fair. All's fair in love and war. Get going. Well, my girl is way ahead of me, isn't she? Uh, there is the understatement of the year. Come on. Hmm. Are you all right, Lieutenant? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I just misjudged the height a little bit. Oh, well. <laughs> no, that's not all I misjudge. You acts are terrific. <laughs> you know, I have to admit that it really wasn't very fair. You see, Private Wilson was an Olympic champion. Oh. Well, I'm glad to know that she's human. I thought she might be a new secret weapon. Oh. Here. Here, lean on my shoulder. Oh, thank you. I'm, uh... I'm glad to know you whack officers are human, too. What do you mean? 
Well, I thought you were as hard as nails. You're really very soft underneath. I, I mean, I mean underneath, uh, uh, way, way underneath, uh, the, the, the real you. That, that's, that's what I mean. Well, our complexities won't puzzle you much longer, Lieutenant. I, I'm sure Major Simpson will expedite your transfer. Oh, I'm not a bit puzzled. I understand why you're all so sensitive. I suppose General Kay's attitude does get you on edge. What do you know about General Kay? Oh, I sure hope you surprise him when you have your big camouflage operation. <laughs> hey, Captain Parker. You know, I, I, Captain Parker, I got a wonderful idea. Now that we're friends, what do you say we both go to the post dance together tonight? Huh? Uh, Francis was right. Every whack is a woman. Except me. But it's impossible. General K just informed us of the field operation. No one knows about it here but you and me. And General K, the old fox. I didn't think he'd stoop to it, but the evidence leads to only one conclusion. Lieutenant Sterling was sent here by General K. To snoop. Check. The mistake was no mistake. General K had Sterling assigned here by plan. Very clever of him to send a spy who looks and acts like, like a schlemiel. Well, if it's fight the old double-crosser wants, we'll play his game his way. How? We'll try to keep Lieutenant Sterling here. What? General K insists we conduct our field demonstration with a full company, but the morale status of the second platoon is such that it leaves us only one course, to leave them out of the operation. But you said he'd raise an awful holler. Not if we can blame the condition of that platoon on a man. His man? Send him in. Lieutenant. At ease. Well, Lieutenant, seems we have a mutual friend. Oh, do we? I didn't know. General K. Oh, no, I, I think you're mistaken, ma'am. At least I don't know him personally. Oh, you knew he was coming here to review a camouflage demonstration. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I didn't think it was any harm. I, uh, I did happen to mention to Captain Parker that... Then you did get the word from General K. Oh, no, ma'am, I got it from... Uh, well, you wouldn't believe me. Don't tell me you got it from that mule. Well, yes. How did you know? Strangely enough, Lieutenant, your answer quite satisfies me. Oh, <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> Lieutenant Sterling, I have decided to make you the camouflage instructor for the second platoon of Company C. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, me, uh, me an instructor for, the, for, for, for a whack platoon? I'm sure since you're a man, you won't have any trouble whipping them into shape. Congratulations, Lieutenant Sterling, and good luck. with experience in combat conditions. Through some error, Lieutenant Sterling was assigned. Until he is transferred, he will undertake duties as your platoon camouflage instructor. A man in the wet? What is this? That's for me. I'll take orders from a man. But he's so cute. What? Well, Lieutenant, they're all yours. Take over. We are at attention, sir. Do I? Yes, sir. Hades! I said at ease. I am at ease, sir. You are? Yes, sir. Men! I am, uh, ladies! Now we've all got a job to do. We've got to be on the ball. Right? Right. All right. Let's have a little close order drill. Platoon, attain set. Shoulders back. Suck in your. Uh, <laughs> pull in your. Uh, <laughs> uh, throw out your. Uh, 
Patty! I fall out. Fall out! Lieutenant, we can't fall out from an at ease position. You always know what's right when I'm wrong, don't you? <clears throat> Platoon, head head, head. Did you scare me? For a minute, I... Yeah, minute. yeah. Well, Francis. Huh? Hey, what have they done to your... Please, Lieutenant. I'm getting what I deserve for trying to help you. One more injection, and I'll be ready to buck for Rear Admiral. Gee, I'm sorry, Francis. Is there anything I can do? I've often wondered. I can take anything they can dish out. Well, I think we're both getting a bad deal. I am officially in the wax. Heaven help the wax. Now, this is no time to joke. What are we going to do? I, I can't get any place with those girls. Maybe they're a little choosy. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean. I brushed up on my manual of arms, Heck. my close order drill, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. That should endear you to them. Uh-oh, here comes old aspirin tablet. Yeah. Who? Who? <laughs> Have you got a surprise coming? Oh, boy. Oh, good morning, you dear little animals. Here's some breakfast, you horrid little things. Oh, and an Uncle Wiggly. A big, fat carrot for you. And Rosalind. Look what Nursie brought you. A banana. Well, let me eat it later. Just take it and eat it later. Peggy, look what I brought you. Some nice, fresh peanuts. Good morning, Lieutenant. Oh, good morning, Lieutenant. Uh, so... Oh, no. No, you couldn't be. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Hon honestly, I'm not. <laughs> no, I, I mean the one I met in Burma. It was in a psychopathic ward. Huh? Oh, but that's, that was somebody else entirely. <laughs> uh, yes, he was always weaving baskets. Is that so? Crazy as a loon, huh? A real idiot. Oh, the cutest little idiot you ever saw. Oh, well. He talked to a mule. Oh. So, of course, you couldn't. Oh, no, I couldn't. <laughs> Oh, dear. Uh, this, uh, this mule isn't a friend of yours, is he? Uh, uh, the, oh, uh, of course not. I, I just came in to see the monkeys. Well, uh, no, no insinuations oh. implied, Lieutenant. No, of course not, no. Let's see, you poor, dumb little beast. No reaction whatsoever. Here, let's take your temperature. Stick it in that dear little mouth of yours. Up, up. There you go. Oh, just what? Well, for pity's sakes. No brains, no feeling. She shouldn't have said that. He drank a whole bottle of alcohol yesterday. Now, you dear little mule, I'm going to start you on your pills. I hope you take them nicely. No, I... No battle axe. Pills. Takes a pill to no pill. Mm. Remember that old saddlebag? Huh. Yeah. Lieutenant Valerie Humper. Do I remember her? Burma. Yeah. She nursed me through four sieges of basket weaving. Uh -huh. Look, things are getting worse. We just got to get out of here. Check. The old cousin has a plan. I knew you'd come up with something. Nats, now get this. Peel a whack and you got a woman. Rike or file, they're female first and last, right? Yeah, I guess so. All right. You can't win a woman unless you woo her. You a whole platoon? You want me to woo a whole platoon? Precisely. Yeah, but I'm not very strong. Yet. Have you got 30 bucks? Have you? And why? Well, there's a special sale on cologne at the PX. Cologne? It's called Night in the Casbah. 
Night in the Casbah? Yeah. You mean for the entire platoon? But of course. You are such a boy. Uh -huh. Get going and check with me. Oh, a whole platoon? That's 25 to 1. You're the odds on favorite. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, not that. Now you must take your pill, you naughty little mule. Just this great big pill. Now open wide, up with a little mouth. Now, that's right, put it in for nursing. There now, just one big blow. <laughs> you all right, Lieutenant? You, are, you all right? Oh, Lieutenant! Lieutenant! What's this night in the Casbah bit? Huh? It's uh, just a gift. Are you as innocent as you look? Well, well, I really had an ulterior motive. You see, I, I want you girls to like me. You mean... You mean you gave cologne to everybody in the platoon? Well, yeah. Don't you like it? I think it's wonderful. You know, if I had a kid brother, I'd like him to be just like you. <laughs> I get... No. Lieutenant! Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Lieutenant. You shouldn't have. Okay. Now, Corporal Hilston, this is against regulations. Sorry, Captain. It was just a slip of the limb. I expect you to be more careful next time. Yes, ma'am. I'll be extra careful next time. Lieutenant Sterling. Yes, ma'am. You were out of order. Maybe yet. Well, well, my aim, my aim is a better discipline. You'd sound a little more convincing if you wipe that lip rouge off your mouth. I go. I, I, you know that Corporal Hilston took me by surprise. Your life seems to be full of surprises. <laughs> That. Well, Lieutenant Sterling seems to be trying awfully hard. Lieutenant Sterling, there's more to this than meets the eye. Think Lieutenant four. Sterling is to be commended? For what? Lift double crossing us? He lifted that second platoon Hush. right out of their slot and made us a target for ridicule. What do you think General Kale say about this? A man helped us out. We couldn't do it, but a man could. Ma'am, General K is waiting for you at battalion headquarters. General K? But he isn't due in until tomorrow. Lift those lovely, lovely legs. I'm going to settle that Lieutenant Sterling's game. hash right now. See you later. Oh, uh -huh. Major, you might think that I'm a stubborn mule. But just because a few of your women have developed into adequate camouflage specialists, it doesn't mean that you can flood the service with them. We've known each other a long time, General, and I've... I'd even like to think of us as being good friends, Louise, but these wild ideas of yours... Ben, may I have your permission to speak freely? Oh. Just because you believe women are fit only to be typewriter jockeys and telephone operators doesn't mean that national defense should be jeopardized. We've done pretty well up to now. You only have to do badly once. Louise, you've got a one-track mind, and I considered my duty to prove you wrong. And I find your methods as misguided as your views. My methods are beyond reproach. I've gone to great lengths to arrange this demonstration. You've gone to even greater lengths to disrupt our morale and snoop. And what? Why haven't you approved Lieutenant Sterling's transfer out of this whack assignment? I don't know what you're talking about. Who is this Lieutenant Sterling, and why should you want her transferred? Lieutenant Sterling is not a her, it's a him. A him? As if you didn't know. Here? Yes, a, a Matahari in men's clothing. 
sent here to carry out his general's orders, General. Then there are many things on which we don't see eye to eye. But up to now, I have never questioned your ethics or sportsmanship. Now, Louise, if you'll simply... The mere fact that you had to stoop to this sort of procedure to try and beat us is proof of our superior skill and ability. Major, it might be a good idea for you to use some of your smart camouflaging on that sharp tongue when you're addressing a superior officer. I'm sorry, Louise. This is the first I've heard about all this. Naturally, if there's been a mistake, I'll rectify it at once. Thank you. Now, about the demonstration. I've uh, selected Piney Woods as the area of operation. If uh, this is acceptable to you. A male whack. How about that? Casey Bone. Just think, in a couple of days, we might be out of this mess. You sure your transfer is going through? Well, Corporal Hellstrom heard it from Captain Parker, and Captain Parker got it from Major Simpson. Happy day. I couldn't stand much more. What headquarters is doing to my hindquarters shouldn't happen in any quarter. You know, it's going to be hard saying goodbye. Yeah. Francis. Huh? Do you think it's possible for a guy to be in love with the whole platoon? Never heard of it outside the Marine Corps. Once the Marine has engaged the three women. Yeah? What'd he do about it? They buried him in Arlington, sharpened his heels and drove him in. <laughs> Come on, Francis, no games. I'm tired. Attention! Now, quit making like a general, you idiot. Shh, shh. Idiot, am I? I could have you broken for this, Lieutenant. <laughs> a jackass break a lieutenant? Well, that's all I have. <laughs> yes, it's a real yak. On your feet! So are you, Lieutenant Staley? Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, sir. Looks like we're getting kind of close to the bottom of the barrel. Yes, oh, yes, sir. Oh, see, we hit the Burma front together. Okay. I'm General K. Oh, how do you do, sir? It is, Lieutenant. Uh, yeah, I, 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 sir? I know how you feel. Coming out of a man's army and being pushed in with these Susies. A male whack. Oh, yes, yes, sir. I hear your little tour of duty has thrown the ladies into a tizzy. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, I know, sir. Well, I've I tried to do my duty, sir. So I hear. That's what I want to talk to you about. Just between us, Sterling, I don't think you should overdo it. Huh? I, I, I don't understand, sir. Well, women just don't appreciate a man's superior skill and ability. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, not that it would matter, sir. I'm, I'm not going to be with him much longer. I'm drink, being transferred out, I think. Am I not, sir? Yes, of course, my boy, of course. Might take a little time. I suppose this was a little advanced celebration? Hmm? Oh, yes, sir, me and Francis. Francis? Who's she? No, she is a he. Yeah, baby, he is a mule. Uh, that, that's him over there, sir. Celebrating with a mule? Yes, sir. Hmm. Personally, I have selected a sweetest smelling companion. One not so dumb. Yeah, but he's a pretty smart mule, sir. That I doubt. He reminds me of one I had in my command. We just built a temporary bridge on the Burma Road, and this stubborn creature refused to cross. Held up the whole company. Never did get across it. Never? No, the bridge collapsed before our very eyes into a raging storm-swollen river. Well, maybe he was pretty smart, sir. No, not this one. He was just ornery, stupid. Dumbest animal I ever saw. Well, I'll leave you to your little celebration. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Get him. Come back here, Pete. I wish you'd make up your mind. I'm so mad I could blow a gasket. Naturally, I wouldn't cross that bridge. You, you mean that m mule was you? Anybody could see the pulley system was faulty. The bridge is bound to collapse. Francis, you saved the whole company. Yeah, but our hero got a commendation. Never mention me. Ornery, stupid, the old goat. Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't understand. Now, now his voice sounds exactly like yours. It was long about then I decided to be handy to be able to talk, particularly like a general, and as long as I was in his outfit, it was a built-in gold brick. Well, it sounds like nothing but trouble. Am I glad we're getting out of this? But we're not getting out. Yeah. What are you saying? We gotta get out of this. Mm, Peter, my boy, we're gonna stay long enough to teach that old, well, we're gonna teach him a lesson. 
Oh, no, no, you can't. Oh, you're going to become a camouflage expert. Yeah. Not me. I refuse. Mm -hmm. I just plain refuse. Let me see. The operation will take place at Piney Wood. Now, we need a map of that area. Not, not me. Now, you leave me out of this. I don't want anything to do with maps. Naturally, this is top secret, Pete. Major Simpson won't even tell Company C what route they're going to follow. Not until the night before the operation. Now, starting from Point Abel... Yeah, that's it. Company C, to be called the White Army, is going to try to move a distance of 10 miles to Point Baker. You see it there? Hello, boy. That is, without being spotted by General K's Blue Army. Both these points will be known to us and the umpire, but not to the Blue Army. Starting tomorrow, Company C goes into training on a 24-hour basis. Yeah, well, Francis, what do I know you'll about... You'll learn, my boy. Yes, sir, you'll learn. Did you deploy your troops so they can be identified and signaled immediately, huh? Yes. All right, show me, show me. Offensive as well as defensive. I just wanted to drive that point through your head. Mm -hmm. You sure took the long way through. Mm -hmm. Parker. Oh, good morning. Jane, did you take the topographical map of Piney Woods from my desk? Well, I wouldn't do that without your permission, Louise. Well, someone did. It's gone. And if that map ever gets into the wrong, wrong hands... hands... Oh, you don't think General K would go that far? I think he'd do anything to prevent our success. Him and his mail whack, I... That's who it was. Sterling. It must have been our dear little lieutenant. Lieutenant! Lieutenant! As you were, I won't beat about the bush. I want that map. What map? The map to Piney Woods, as if you didn't know. And don't tell me you lost it. Oh, no, ma'am. I've got it. Not that it would matter. I memorized it. Lieutenant, report to battalion headquarters immediately. Go there directly. Do not... Speak to anyone. Yes, ma'am. Let me have yes, sir. Let me have a yes. Nothing, but nothing must jeopardize the operation. Obviously, if he went to the trouble of memorizing the map, the information on it has not yet gotten to General K. I'm going to see that it never does. Send Lieutenant Sterling in. Lieutenant Sterling. Sit down. Lieutenant, I want to know about... It's not true. I'm, I'm, I'm innocent. I'm not on General K's side. We want you wax to win. We, Lieutenant Sterling? Yeah, we. I, I mean, I. I see. I, no, no, you don't see. Honestly, I, I... see the map you stole. I didn't steal any map. Somebody did. It was borrowed. Francis wouldn't steal anything. Francis? Who's Francis? Yeah, Francis. Oh, you wouldn't believe me. Don't tell me you're going to go into that mule routine again. Yes, ma'am. All right. So there's a mule. A mule named Francis. Yeah, it's spelled with an I. Uh, just an ordinary mule. Oh, no, he's not an ordinary mule. A mule walked into my office to borrow a map? Yes, ma'am. How do you know he did? He told me. Oh, yes, I forgot. He talks, too. Yeah. Well, I, I know it sounds impossible, but I, I didn't believe it myself at one time. But now you do believe he can talk? Oh, I know it. And uh, you're willing to stand by that story, Lieutenant? Definitely. Good. It makes what I have to do that much simpler. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I, 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 honestly, it's the truth. I swear, it, 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 I, I'm the truth. I swear, it's the truth. Don't you worry about a thing. We've been through this before, Lieutenant. Yeah, and I don't want to go through it again. Just like old times, they're using our treatments again. 
Good afternoon, nurse. And how's our patient? Oh, just dandy, just dandy. <clears throat> you still think a mule talks to you? He certainly does. You don't have to answer for Lieutenant Sterling. You're asking our questions. Yes, That's yes. all. Yes, you were asking. That's all. Well, I... <clears throat> yes. I'll be right outside, Lieutenant. <clears throat> now, this heavy, dark mass represents your mother. My mother was a skinny blonde. You said Francis was like a mother to you. Oh, no, I said Francis was like a father to me. He helps me and advises me on everything. And you believe he could help and advise you in this situation? You mean you let me talk to him? I think it can be arranged. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. That's really... Oh, I'm, I'm, very, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm off this here. There, there. Now, be my own dear, brave little mule. I know it hurts. Oh, it hurts me worse than it does you. Oh, we got to get picked up, you know. Company's coming. Yes, company. Now you wait right there and I'll fix your oatsies. Huh. I'd like to fix her oats. Hey. Hi, Francis. Uh, look, I, I know you're mad at me, but, but I had to tell the truth. Uh, did he answer you? No, he gets this way, stubborn. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, Francis. Well, it's no use now. He won't talk to me. No, I'm sure he won't. Come, Lieutenant. Yeah, now, no hard feelings, Francis. Come up and see my painting sometime. Hello. Hello, Francis. Goodbye, cutie. the mule. Oh, you dreamt it. No, 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 he said... Well, he said... He said goodbye, cutie. Oh, look. Why don't you knock off for the rest of the day? Take it easy. Uh, maybe I'd better. A mule. <laughs> cutie! You look like a horse, too, Major. You wanted to see me, Louise? You, too? Huh? Oh, no, it's just a hobby. Since when? Since last night. The mule? He not only spoke to me, he sounded just like General K. Like General K? Oh, you've got it real bad. You're one to talk, cutie. No, no, I've got it all figured out. It has to be ventriloquism. Of course. You mean Lieutenant Sterling. Oh, I didn't say it was Lieutenant Sterling. I, uh, well, I could be wrong about the whole thing. It had to be Sterling. But he wasn't even there. How do we know? The medical lab is part of the hospital installation. All the buildings are grouped together. Oh, you mean it's another one of General Kay's morale breakers?
You gentlemen of the press will be briefed later by Major Simpson. From my point of view, I can only tell you that the operation will start at dawn tomorrow and finish <laughs> before it starts. Well, what happens if you spot them? Do you shoot them down? Heck no. We need them behind the typewriters. We're using kind of a genteel ammo, squirt gun with liquid dye. That way we can tell which of the ladies have been spotted and disqualified. <laughs> the white army isn't going to be white very long. Major, show these gentlemen to the quarters. John? See you at six in the morning, General. <laughs> You'll be back in the sack at seven, Jack. Good morning, Major. I hope your little army is fit and ready. <gasps> oh, yeah. I thought you were a mule. I... A what? Oh, I, I, I mean a jackass. I, now, wait a minute, She Captain. means a talking mule. We've both been the victims of your ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? Talking mule? You both ill. Oh, please, let's not go through that again. I mean Lieutenant Sterling. Oh, Sterling, yes, I met him and his mule. What do you mean the animal talks? What, well, what did it talk about? Well, for one thing, he, it called Captain Parker cutie. Cutie? Excuse me. <laughs> the real army mule. What did it call you, Louise? I'd uh, rather not say. What made you suspect ventriloquism? Well, for one thing, he talked exactly like you. Now, wait a minute, Major. You may be a woman, but you're also an army officer, and there's such thing as respect. But it's true. He talked exactly oh, like you. Oh, Major! No insubordination intended, believe me. If anyone's guilty of such a thing, it's your Lieutenant Sterling. Why do you keep insinuating I have something to do with this Lieutenant Sterling and his talking mule? Well, haven't you, General? I'll soon settle your mind on that. Where is this Sterling? In, uh, in the psycho ward. What? Well, where's the mule? In the barn. I hardly believe this. This is too normal. I'd like to have a look at this mule. Hiya, Francis. Beat it. Get lost. I just had to sneak out and apologize. Amscray, before they find you here. I suppose you think I'm a stupid idiot, don't you? With you, Pete, that's par for the course. Yeah, but I just did what you told me to do. I didn't tell you to mess up the whole detail. You know how much it means to me to win this old ball game. Well, me too. Well, we're out of the running. That ain't all. Have you checked your platoon lately? How could I? They're falling apart. But why? They were doing so great. Morale, boy, morale, yeah. When they discovered you were in psycho and they've been getting camouflage instructions from a mental case, well... Hit the dirt. It's over here, Ben. Oh, I've had mules in my outfit before. None of them could ever talk. Yes. This is the beast I saw out near the confidence course. Angie looking creature. So you're the talking mule, huh? All right. Talk it up. This is all utter nonsense. What do you mean, utter nonsense? <laughs> did you hear something? I heard you talk. Well, so did I. Me? It was the mule. Mule. Did you say something? Come on. Speak up! Are you giving me permission to sound off, sir? Permission granted. Sound off. Well, to start with, you're a narrow-minded fuddy-duddy. You probably think the top brass is the machinery that runs this man's army. Horse feathers! Now, you take these wax. Everyone knows that women are here to stay, but not you. You got the idea they're in the service just to keep your memo circulating. This is the most ridiculous thing I've... Lieutenant Sterling. So, that's it. <laughs> just as we thought, ventriloquism. You were right, Louise. On your feet, Lieutenant. A narrow-minded fuddy-duddy, huh? Pig-headed, huh? Yeah, well, no, sir. If you are, sir, I didn't say so, sir. Then now tell him, Francis. Tell, tell him he's a narrow-minded, pig-headed old fuddy-duddy. 
I didn't even tell him you said so. I've heard enough from this You did give him permission to sound off, sir. And I sure like the sound he made, General. We won't discuss the opinions of a sick mind. This boy needs medical care. Put him back in cycle where he belongs and keep him there. Uh, now look what you've done. How could you do this to me? How? Huh? How? Dogging him. Well, we just haven't been the same since we found out what happened to poor Lieutenant Sterling. Don't you think you women are carrying loyalty a little too far? All right, girl. Oh. Come on now. Let's get busy. Hey, Judy. Captain. Come on, OB. Come on. On the double. you, babe, is that you look like a hot tamale and act like a frozen custard. You know the best thing could happen to you. Don't answer that. Lose those captain bars for a couple hours. Act like a woman. Break a few rules. You like Pete, don't you? Yeah. And you want to believe that he's on your side? Yeah. Well, he is. What's more, he could help this operation. He could pull that second platoon right into line again. Check. Well, what are you waiting for? Bust him out of that nut house and let's put him into action. Get going. <laughs> Typical. Once those icebergs melt, there ain't no stopping them. <laughs> Can I help you, Captain? I'd like to see Lieutenant Sterling, please. Uh, in, in, in here, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Captain Barker. I want to apologize. I know now it's all a horrible mistake. Oh, well, it's not so horrible now. Uh, Captain, the lieutenant is a very sick man. Oh, he's no sicker than I am, and he's got a job to do. Your platoon needs you, and that means a camouflage operation needs you. But he's a man. He's also a whack. Lieutenant Sterling, I want you to join your platoon. Captain, that's against orders. Orders? This is war. And you're in the Army, too, Lieutenant Humbert, and, and tomorrow we'll be fighting your battle out there. But it is against orders. Lieutenant... What do you say? Well, it's orders are orders, and you heard me tell the captain, orders. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Uh, just anything. Oh, we've I got to say. smuggle him out of here, past that guard. Hey, you could lend him your uniform. Uh, Why, yes, you could lend me her uniform? A woman's uniform? Well, he's a whack, isn't okay, now, he? Now, wait, things are going just a little bit too far. Well, you want to help us, don't you? Well, wait, yeah, well. Lieutenant, all those women need you. Uh, really? Well, I, I... Wait, you've got to get undressed. Undressed? Yes. yes. Well, how much of my uniform? Uh, do you think just the outside would do? No, well, I'm afraid what i got to put inside won't do. Oh, uh, hurry, we haven't got much time. Quick, 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 now look, quick, I, I, don't, I don't know what I want to do this. I, I, now, really, Give me your bathrobe. Oh, for heaven's sake. Now, your pajamas. My pajamas? Here's the robe. Yes, and, and, and here's my Hurry. dress. I don't know whether it'll fit or oh, not. That doesn't matter. matter. such a little thing. And here's a slip. Yeah. Tell him to squeeze it. Here they are. Okay. Now, if I catch cold, I'm, I'm going to blame you. Yeah. Oh, these are just the tops. I've got to have the bottoms, too. The bottoms, too? Yes. Hurry. <laughs> Quick, the girls will be leaving. Oh, I'm so cold. Here. Oh, my. You think it's hot? Now, the shoes and stockings. Oh, do I have to take them off, too, my? Is it a bird? 
Is it a plane? No, it's Superwoman. <laughs> very funny, very funny. I bet you got me into this. And Trey Sheik, too. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh. Oh, why did I ever... Oh, spaceship number seven. I'm getting you clearly. Mm -hmm. Oh, General. Oh. No, Nursey, just your darling little mule talking to you. <laughs> you are such a girl. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. And no time to faint until we get Loverboy put together. Well, just don't stand there with egg on your face. Get going. Oh, what's it's taking you so long, Lieutenant? Well, it's just that I'm not used to getting in these things, that's all. Captain, what are you going to use for hair on your new sister wag, huh? That's right. We've got to fake a wig out of something. A wig? Oh, no. I've got it. Horse hair. How about it, Francis? Horse hair. Me and my big mouth. Well, anything for the cause. Get the scissors. Oh, scissors. Yes, scissors. Oh, here, Come here. on, nurse. There. Oh, there. My old is a butch, Captain. I'm sorry, Francis. Good night, Corporal. Good night, Captain. Lieutenant Sterling is not to be disturbed. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you're thinking, Corporal, is not true. Tomorrow, we women will be involved in an operation that will test the mettle of every one of us. You are all volunteers, and I am grateful for your efforts and courage. By tomorrow evening, I feel sure that we will have proved that when we whack say we can do something, we can do it. Good luck. <laughs> Lieutenant, what's the meaning of this? I'm responsible, Major. Well, you see, I felt the urgency was so great, but there was some time to consult with you. I believe that Lieutenant Sterling can help us. You know the low Morales second platoon and what it'll mean to have him back. And I know Lieutenant Sterling wants to help. Well, I... And he still is in the whack. He'd better come through for us tomorrow. He'll never get out of the whack. Dig up some field gear. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Driver. you an aspirin. Uh. General, the White Army has taken its initial position at Point Able. The demonstration is officially started. What happens now, General? Thank you, Charlie. Well, George, I'm just an observer like yourself. Unless I miss my guess, in exactly 60 seconds, recon planes will be coming over from Lassen Field. In 30 minutes, aerial photos will be developed, and we'll have Major Simpson's lovely ladies pinpointing. <laughs>
I beg your pardon. Be my guest? Thank you. <laughs> might look pretty keen in polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Nothing, General. You don't mean to tell me that that isn't something. Well, that's your field headquarters, sir. Is it? It is. You got this, sis. I've never seen it before. Glad you all like it. Sure wish I could read writing. Hey there, Bud. Hi there. Run for it, Beauregard. There's a drafting again. Drafting? Take it easy, son. Who is fighting this time? Did you see any wax go by here? Wax? Wax? Yeah, you know, female soldiers. Oh, them. Oh, they, they went, uh... Yeah, no, no, they went, uh... They went that way. Thanks. Let's go. on the pressure. Sure. We've still got eight more miles to go. I think maybe we better take the offensive. Yeah, how do we do that? Well, let's see. The idea is first steal one of their walkie-talkies. Oh, I see, and then intercept their messages, huh? Mm -hmm. What, do you think you can do it? Well, I'll need a volunteer. Are there any volunteers for this hazardous mission? Well? Now, look, Francis, I can't take the chance. If I mess up this operation, I'll never get out of the wax. All those who don't want to volunteer, take one step backward. The idea is exchange one of our walkie-talkies with one of theirs. That way, we'll be tuned into their frequency. Now, this is how you'll do it. Yeah? Hey, look at this. What is it? A gal's comb. Nice going. We better contact the mobile unit. Hello, Blue. Hello, Blue. This is Diamond. We picked up their trail. Over. Right, sir. Over. Hey, let's have a little camouflage discipline. Sorry. Is this your first hitch? You should know better than that. Let's get it out quick before they see the smoke. Soldier. Well, they must have come this way, sir. We found a girl's comb. Show them the comb, George. Here you are, sir. It's about time those wax let down their hair and gave us some kind of a clue, sir. It might be a decoy, but I think we'd better contact field headquarters and see if it fits in with a plot map. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute, sir. My walkie-talkie.
What do you know? We hooked the wrong fish. Francis, uh, Francis, get me out of here, will you? Shh. Easy does it. There. No. Lieutenant, two patrols are approaching. What? That's nice work, Lieutenant. Thanks. Mission accomplished. Yeah, and two enemy patrols approaching. Oh. Well, come on, let's go. Oh, Aren't you coming with me? No, I've got to untangle this mess you made. Give me that hearing aid. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, all units. This is Blue, field command to patrol. General K. Charlie patrol proceeds south by southeast. Be alert. Opposing forces are wearing men's uniforms. Calling dog patrol. Calling dog patrol. It's General K. Dog patrol, proceed north by northwest. Be alert. Opposing forces are wearing men's uniforms. Stand by. Over. I gave no such orders. You know I gave no such orders. Tell them that... That's it. The White Army's tuned in on our frequency. They're giving commands and intercepting ours. Yeah. This is our first bit of luck. Corporal, we're going to give those whacks some orders that'll cook their goose. Yes, sir. Hey, Pete, give this thing a lesson, quick. Attention, all patrols. Mm-hmm. Is now bracketed in zone 12. Deploy east and west of hill 118 to intercept. Oh. That, that must be this hill right here. Yeah. I, hey, look, it's not covered. They probably figured we'd never dare cross it to expose. That's our answer. Hill 118, here we come. Simmer down, Captain. This might be a trap. But it's our only chance, Francis. If we're lucky, we'll, we'll slip right through their lines. I'm telling you, Pete, this could be a trap. Say retreat, Captain? What else can we do? Well, we can give them credit for having some brains. They've got our rear covered and recovered. We go forward. Into their waiting arms? Into their smoky eyes, yeah. Right. A smoke screen. You betcha. Now, come over here and pick my pockets. All right. Come on over, Captain. We got the old smoke. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Over. Forward, men. Ready, grenades.
cannon soldier. <laughs> There's a real belly flopper. Sir, for a way across the gully. Well, don't stand there, men. Jump, jump. Yes, General. Yes, sir. Well, what is this? Who said that? Who's giving orders around here? I am, sir. What's wrong? What's wrong? Have you gone crazy? Don't stand there. Jump, jump. Yes, sir. Captain, with your men, what are you waiting for? Jump! But, 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 General! Go back here, Captain! I can have you men court-martialed for this! Don't stand there! Jump, General! Where's it coming from? Just a little overdue payment, General, on that Burma Bridge account. See you at Point Baker when the ladies win. Yes, sir. Get that mule. Shoot that lieutenant. I mean, disqualify him. You don't mind the rough going, General. There's a crossing downhill a ways. It'll bring us out near Point Baker. Get in that jeep, soldier. Hey, General, maybe you'll need some aspirin now. Three minutes, General. Any luck, General? Well, they haven't reached you yet, <clears throat> have they? Well, Major, <clears throat> have they? No, sir. Not yet. I think I can guarantee now that they won't. We've plotted their line of advance and got them sewed up tight in the drum. In about three minutes, your little dream will be over, Louise. Aren't you cheering yourself, horse, a bit too soon, Ben? Uh, Louise. You may as well know this. Your girls are on their own now. That uh, little male whack has been disqualified by now. There are still two minutes left. Do you mind if I hope that much longer? Two minutes. It is. What about the lieutenant? Did he disqualify him? Uh, no, sir. We finally caught up with this jackass, sir, but there was no sign of a lieutenant or anyone else in the White Army. Of course not. There isn't one of them within miles of us. You want a bet? Who said that? Mm-hmm. You men carry on. Leave that donkey. It's a trick. It's gotta be a trick. Why? What trick is there to talking? Any fool can do it. Oh, oh. Unless he loses his voice. Oh. And that ain't all you lost, you know, okay? Look! like a few words from you, General, straight from the horse's mouth, you might say. And that's the way you're going to get it, my boy. If I could talk through this throat of mine. Uh, right over there, sir. We're all ready for you. <sighs> okay, 
Fred. Now it is my pleasure and privilege to introduce to the TV audience the man who came from the Pentagon to arrange this camouflage operation. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, General Ben Kay. I have to be brief because of a touch of laryngitis. But having observed the camouflage demonstration by this splendid group of Fort Chase Wax, I must pay tribute to them and admit defeat. <laughs> job, ladies. Magnificent. But with Major Simpson's leadership, how could it be otherwise? I just can't believe it. A salute to Company C. The Army is proud of you. Proud. General? Of course I'm all right. I want you to rest that mule. Have that mule caught my mule, oh, sir. That mule. Get and that one, mule. Sir. Right now, get and that one, mule. Sir. I'm going to... Boy, I never had a general before. This is really the end. Let's get out of here, Lieutenant. <laughs>